Hi there, welcome back to my channel Code Canvas. In this video, we will learn about React unidirectional data flow. So React is a JavaScript library for building user interfaces, right? It designs simple views for each state in your application. A React will efficiently update and render just the right components when your data changes. It is also declarative and views make your code more predictable and easier to debug. So in React, everything is component. It builds encapsulated components that manage their own state, then compose them to make complex UIs. Since component logic is written in JavaScript instead of templates, you can easily pass rich data through your app and keep state of state out of the door right so sometimes we have a question that what is unidirectional data flow in react unidirectional data flow describes a one way data flow where the data can move in only one pathway when being transferred between different parts of the program react a javascript library uses this unidirectional data flow the data from the parent is known as props properties and you can only transfer data from parent to child and not vice versa as you can see on the screen the parent can transfer data to child but child cannot transfer data to the parent so this is how data flow works in the react this means the child components cannot update or modify the data on their own, making sure that the clean data flow architecture is being followed. This also means that you can control the data for data flow in a better way. So there are few effects of state changes. In React, each state is owned by one component. Due to the unidirectional flow, the changes made on the state of the component will only affect the children and not the parent or sibling components. There are few advantages of unidirectional data flow. The first one is debugging. One way data flow makes debugging much easier when the developer knows where the data is coming from and where it is going. They can uh, use some tools or they can dry run to find the problems more efficiently. The second advantage is better control. Having data flow in one direction makes the program less prone to errors and gives the developer more control of the program. And the third and the last advantage is efficiency. And as the used libraries are wary of the limitations and specifications of unidirectional flow, extra resources are not wasted. And it will be efficient process. So these are three advantages that you can count on of this unidirectional data flow in React.js. So that was the detail of how the unidirectional data flow in React works. Hope you like this video. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe. And if you like this video, please give us a like. If you have any questions or any comments, you can leave your comments below.